Hello guys, I'm Spicy Bill and this is going to be a review on the Bandai 30 minutes mission option weapon 1 for Porta Nova. So this one, uh, these are 1144 scale kits. So this uh, option weapon uh, 1 unit was released in July 2019, made in Japan. Here's a box. Yeah, I always forget to mention that these kits are in 1144 scale. So they uh, scale very well with your high grade kits. Uh, your Gunpla high grade kits, and here's what you can do with the uh, we option uh, weapons here. It's very cool, and uh, here we have the price. I believe you can get this uh, in North America for around eight dollars, some eight dollars in change, something like that. So anyway, that's the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the instruction manual. Very simple instructions. Uh, we have the close combat weapons. We have the uh, spear, uh, the sword, and the axe. Now the axe here is a lot bigger than the one we've seen from uh, the uh, Alto weapon set. Uh, the spear is also very cool and we also have the sword instead of a dagger. And here are the option weapons. So this one has a Gatling gun, has a sniper rifle. Uh, all in all, this, uh, this weapon is definitely a lot cooler than what we got from the Alto. So there we go. Uh, building the base rifle is pretty much the same as the other one. So. That's the uh, base weapon that it comes with, so anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have here. So, first off, uh, we have the Gatling gun, right here, this is how the Gatling gun looks like. It's very cool, it's got the handle so you can hold it. I'm gonna actually demonstrate that real quick. So, let's go ahead and get the uh, weapon out of the hand first. There we go, and then uh, let's go ahead and get this uh, spear thing off the hand. There we go. <coughs> I don't know why the uh, that shoulder is always coming off, but anyway, uh, here we go. This is how it looks like when it's wielding the uh, machine gun. Of course, you have various other ways to do it. You can have it hold it like this, <coughs> like that. There we go. There's the Gatling option. Or the Gatling setup, like that. Let's go ahead and rotate the shield real quick. There we go. That looks pretty neat. Okay, and if you don't like the Gatling option, uh, you can always have the uh, sniper rifle option or the long rifle, which is basically just plugged in like that. Yeah, so there you go. There's two options that you can use with the uh, uh, the Porta Nova. This one, uh, this time it doesn't have the uh, foregrip. So, well, I guess you can kind of improvise by attaching like a peg to it. So it looks like it's you know shooting with both hands like that. Should be easy enough to do. Okay, so uh, to convert this back is also very simple. Uh, basically, uh, you just detach this panel right here, take this apart, take this, put that in there, uh, attach the uh, lower half, and then uh, close the uh, hole right here, like so. This piece, that, and it goes back to the standard rifle. So there we go. <clears throat> We also have the uh, base weapon here, which is this thing. Actually, wait, hold on. So, uh, the base weapon is right here. This is the uh, uh, the knuckle weapon. And then, of course, you can attach you have various other attachments that you can use. You can have the, uh, the sword, the axe. <coughs> This is this is actually more like a he hawk, or you can have the spear, like that. Okay, and not only that, uh, you can actually attach to the hand just like the alto. You get this adapter right here, like that, and also work with your uh, other other gun kits like you know high grade uh, HE Go. <coughs> or HE, Hydra Universal Century, or IBO, or Gundam 00, all of them. 
pretty much you can stick that ball joint into the hand. So there we go. Like having a spear weapon for the heart. If that's a little too weird for you, well, you can have the sword. <coughs> and that doesn't work for you, well, you can have the axe. There we go. Okay, and another way you can uh, do the weapon is very simple. You can uh, attach the uh, weapon directly to this piece right here, make it a spear, like a long spear. Or you can have a long sword, kind of, like a short spear. Or you can have an axe, <laughs> like a great axe, or something like that. <clears throat> I definitely like the option, the great axe option. I think that actually looks pretty cool. So I am gonna have it using the gray axe. <clears throat> so, uh, let me, where is the hand? Ah, the hand is right here. <laughs> Oops. All right, so we have the gun options. Leftover parts. Let's go ahead and get that all out of the way. Uh, the easiest way to do it, well, actually the easiest way is to actually remove this lower piece. And then just push this through. Then attach it. And there we go. We have the uh, great X. I'm trying to uh, get it to hold it with both hands, <coughs> so bear with me here. This kit is still very tight, <laughs> so got to fiddle around with it. Break it in a little bit. Okay, there we go. That looks really cool. All right, um, I guess we can make it look even cooler if it's actually like, you know, trying to swing downward like so. Something like that. I'm ready to chop someone or something. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right, so that's it. That's gonna be it. This is the review on the Bandai uh, 30 minute mission option weapon one for the Porta Nova. Hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.